So big thanks to them. I'm super excited because arriving today is something truly special. Um, hey. I won... I won an Intel giveaway, um, I believe, and uh, I can't wait to see exactly what comes with it. So we're going to discover it together, guys. That That's coming possibly at some point while I'm streaming. It's supposed to be, it's out for delivery today, so who knows when that's going to arrive. So you only have a few minutes, you're on a job. Oh, okay, cool. No, nothing wrong with that rock. So you can create an avatar. Um, and who's that? That's not me. Anomander. Oh, okay, that's a Steam friend of mine. That's cool. Okay. And you can place it wherever you want. So I went ahead and placed mine over, um, one of my favorite places that I visited two years ago, and that would be over in Namibia. Alright, so I am a complete noob to Planet Zoo, so please, guys, Give me suggestions. Tell me what to do. I'm going to go through and play the tutorial now. And we're going to check this out. So we're going to be at Goodwin House. I like the music. It's become one of the most respected zoos in the country, huh? Recently he's undergone further renovation to update many of the habitats and facilities. But due to various issues, the work hasn't quite been completed. This is where I come in. Okay, so I need to finish up the zoo. Got it. Guys, how's the sound? Everything sound good? Uh, volume level's okay? I tried to pre-set this up, but you know how it goes. Sometimes it's too loud, sometimes it's too quiet. And you'll notice in chat, it's going to be spammed a little bit by a bot. Um, all about a, a donation drive. So on Sunday, I'm going to be announcing it later on in the stream, but on Sunday, um, one, of the, one of the aspects of the stream that we're doing is it's going to be a charity stream, and it's one that's very important to me. It's, uh, it's gamers uh, helping others uh, get through cancer and research cancer with the American Cancer Society. It means a lot because I just last year lost my mom to ah, lung cancer. Hey but let's play the game. Sorry about that. I, I have a habit of slipping back into the Planko language. <laughs> it's good to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard, although I insist you call me Bernie. The only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> Oops. As you know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened, and a source of great pride for me. And prides, thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Uh, poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. Uh -oh. <laughs> so it's up to you to finish everything off. Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker, and she'll expect you to be, too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire, or even better, <laughs> one that isn't on fire. <laughs> Less shouting that way. <laughs> Hello there. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. <laughs> Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma, because we're about to get really hands-on. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Okay. So we got a second. Uh, music volume seemed a little loud. I'll, we'll keep an eye on that, and like Deadly said, it might be better in-game. We'll have to see. Just comment accordingly. We'll fix it as we go along. Cthulhu, hello, and I love how you called it World of Creatures. And Nolo, the director, is indeed named Bernard. And yeah, that might not end well for Mr. Bernard. We'll have to see. Um, Alright, so I need to enter the grizzly bear habitat, so I guess... 
Oh, okay. So I can, I can click like that. I can W A S D around. I can use the mouse. Very intuitive. Pretty easy to move around. Oh, and I can pan with the right click. Okay. Locate the grizzly bear. Did you know that grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, can hibernate for up to seven months a year? <laughs> oh, but then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> that is, this is so cool. Select I'm gonna. one of the bears, and you'll bring up its information panel. I'm gonna have too much fun in this game. I can already tell. This is where you can find out all kinds of information about your animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare today as we go through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? Oh, okay. Hey, Joseph. How you doing? See now, this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. You can also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking on it. Oh poop, great. Okay, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you to find. Oh my god, guys, this is... <laughs> this is too cool. This is really, really cool. It reminds me... I mean, of course it reminds you of being in a zoo, but like the ability to fly in like this, it, it makes me think of um, going to some game reserves. Oh my god, and you can zoom up that far? Wow. That was a sexy bear. Hello, Cremoa. No butt anchor. <laughs> no, not in this case. Panthera Leo Leo. All the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome. <laughs> Which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Anyway, how about we get started on uh -oh. those objectives? Uh -oh. Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. I thought these two were about to get it on. Locate the empty habitat. Okay, so these are the ones that I've got built already. And can I... Oh, okay. It's still snap. Why? He's like fanning himself. <laughs> wow. Yeah, sexy bear and he knows it. Okay, so... Ah, here's the empty habitat here. Pretty small. As you can see, it's a lovely space for animals, but it's missing a certain something. Well, two somethings. Warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Aha, uh -huh, animal trading. There we are, a pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select adopt from the side menu. Normally, the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. The last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. Oh, but that's okay, Nancy. I can do that. All right, I got. And then I guess I go to send to zoo. And then I click here to drop them. Delivery scheduled. Okay. And I suppose I also have to adopt when you adopt, adopt a an pair. animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat, which as it happens, you are. So how about you move them into their new home? Put the place your hogs in When you habitat. ask for okay. an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal and deliver them to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location, so let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Okay, so here's the trade center here. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of wow. course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat, but I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Right, let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. You see, each uh. animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are.
and that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas nutrition, social health, habitat and enrichment. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their Animal Welfare Information Panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. So these guys have no enrichment. Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now. Each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Cool. Nolo, there's water. That's a bear. R new Russian battleship confirmed. Four paws, it's OP. Lol. Oh, look, they're already looking at the warthog. That's cute. All right, so I go to habitat. And I need to place a trough. And I can put this trough wherever the heck I feel like in here, huh? Okay. Well, if I wanted to really troll my visitors, I could do what I hate about Zeus. Is when you put them, like, all the way outside of sight so they go and they eat and stuff like that out of sight. But I'm going to put it, like, right here. Obstructed. There we go. And I need to do a large water bowl. Yeah, we'll put that right next to it, like they're doggies. Hey! Glacial underscore MK1 just resubscribed for three months. Animals Glad I can continue to support to your streaming. Let's Keep up the good work. Let's add a lovely mud bath Thanks, for the Glacial. warthogs to roll around in. <laughs> that Ooh, bath, bath will count towards their enrichment welfare. Oh. Specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Now we want them to watch that mud bath. We want that close to our visitors, right? Oh, nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now, our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and what's-its all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. So I could literally build this, like, right over... That's kind of funny. All right. Can I escape out of that? I can. All right. And now we need to go to the hippos. These guys are hungry and thirsty, but... Oh, that's cool. Zookeeper just put food in. That is so cool. That'd be us with the flex. Alright, so what am I doing now? Oh, cool. And then people can visit. Huh. Um, I'm lost. <laughs> Ah. Locate the highlighted area. All right. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, let's pause the game. Just click the pause button in the bottom right corner. Yeah. Make sure you put a big rock in front of the feeding area. I like ah, that idea. That's more like it. A quick break. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat built. Okay, job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. All right, so I need to place a gate. Habitat gate. Ah, okay. So I'm supposed to put it in here someplace. Not here, not here, not there, not there, but I'm supposed to put it someplace in here and it doesn't really matter where I put it, I guess. So I guess I'll just go for a central location. Right. Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Can I click and drag? Oh, well, that goes higher. That goes lower. Okay. Ah, there we go. Cool. 
So I could go like this and like this. And then like that. Like that. Like that. And connection. Good work. Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. That would probably now, be important. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. At least not without a stepladder. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. I kind of feel like it would have been cheaper if you would have just, you know gone with uh, glass to start but okay let's see let's put glass here what does this do oh okay so like we can we can make this whole thing a glass barrier me likey this would probably be pretty expensive though but in the words of John Hammond Spared no expense. Now we just need a roller coaster. Okay, and then we can move. Can we can we make oh we can make that glass. Okay. But then we might have just lost the door, so I'll have to take a look at that in a second. This, uh, might be a little weird looking in gigantic area of glass, huh guys? Okay, done. So how do we build that? Never mind. How? What? Alright, I'm confused. Do I just click glasses? There we go. Ah, Adding in more windows glasses. gives okay. guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on. Because it makes them happy. And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. F all the progress, yeah, right? The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. Alright, so, donation box. Add or donation box. Hey guys, while you're enjoying the view, now, throw something in. Now, before we adopt our ostriches, you should click the play button. After all, if the game's paused, then so are our caretakers, which will make it a bit tricky for them to deliver the ostriches, eh? Mm-hmm. Alright, I imagine I have to go by and buy... By the way, buy. as well as pausing the game, you can speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It'll run everything at two times and five times faster. It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. I have a Personally, lot of money. I use it when I'm waiting for a brew to finish. All right, you've finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get four of them in here. So barriers, click on this. And then we would pick over here glass, but it's not showing up. Hmm. Okay, now, in theory, they should have been sent. Yep. Place. Oh, right, I have to place them. Open animal storage. Animal storage. Can I. I can do multiple with the shift. Nice. Send to zoo, go here. While we wait for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Oh, Add like a well. suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter, so guests can get a really good view of the animals. Alright, so here's my water trough. And I can 
I can put it underground. How can I? I can't remember how to. Ah, whatever. There you go. There's your water trough. Oh, big box. Slow feeder. Sure, let's put that right there. Okay, maybe not. How about there? Large food bowl. There we go. Got an achievement. Oh, good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, oh heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? <laughs> Every time we get an ostrich. So, now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better, let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals so they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. That is so cool. Alright, so we're gonna close out of that one. They're hungry and thirsty. Well, your stuff's right here. Or is it... <laughs> it's floating, guys. It's actually floating. Oh, here's the keeper. Here's the keeper. He's inspecting the habitat. Animals look thirsty. I felt the water containers in there. Okay, cool. And... Abracadabra! There's water. Is the keeper also floating? He kind of is, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, th this does not have dinosaurs, but it's made by the same company. I don't know, maybe I'll get my hand on that one too. I'd love to get my hands on that one. Okay, so facilities. Place a keeper hut. Classic. You'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the path. Ah, Z. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep, I see that. And then we're putting it... Ah, okay, we're going to put it over here. Cool. So... Hey! We, we got our thing, ladies and gentlemen. That's a big box. Did I? Oh, I have to put it right here. Okay. This so. keeper hut only has space for mm, one keeper, yeah. but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Thank you, oh, honey. But bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings, and it can affect their happiness. Negatively. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear. Okay. Something that all facilities, shops, and a whole host of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly built keeper hut. So let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? Robots in disguise. Same now, here. the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So, oh. once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. There's no power over here. I guess it doesn't matter. The animals don't really need internet, do they? Alright, so we'll put this here, I guess. But, is it... Ah, it needs to... I see, it needs to connect with the road. Okay. So, can I put this here? Lovely Sorry. work. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food. And thanks to where you've put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. 
Let's get Sanctus on to your next just objective just resubscribed then. for three Bengal months. Tigers. Not sure what I am watching, want to adopt but cheers them, but to three months, my dude. I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. Sanctus, thanks for the tier three sub, man. Three months. Amazing, dude. And this is Planet Zoo. As you know, Sanctus, on Fridays, I like to do different games. So we've got Valkyria Chronicles coming, but for right now, we're checking out a new game that was sent to me by the publisher, Planet Zoo. And then I just got a gigantic box. This thing's huge. Uh, so we're going to open it up when we go to transition over to Valkyria Chronicles. And I'm going to open that up on stream. So that's going to be cool. So uh, thank you very much, Sanctus. And you just opened up. I guess you just... You, you just... Okay. There. We got an emote. Pride Rise unlocked. Nice. Oh, this is a special ca uh, special package. I can't wait to, to check it out. Okay, so let's see. Where am I at now? Uh, I need to go here. And I need to locate the highlighted area. Ah. Here we go. This area here. Righty. Your next job is to build a habitat <laughs> from scratch. Is that some <laughs> and boxing and theater? Glass, I expect. <laughs> so go ahead and build it. Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we've dug. Oh. And don't forget to add a habitat gate to the barrier. Includes oh, the big and hole. make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. Oh, this is for tigers. Okay, so we're going to start with the barrier. And we're going to do... I see, I see. Okay. Well, we would probably want the gate to be someplace relatively close for for our people to, to get into. And there's a, there's a working hunt right there, so we're gonna build this right over here. And we, can, we can play with that a little bit, but I think we... No! Urgh. Can I just use my... something like that. Obstructed. Obstructed. Oh, that's why. I hit, <laughs> I hit the wrong way. Okay. Come on. Controls are a little bit wonky. A little bit difficult to get used to, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So there's my gate. Now, I'm going to switch to glass up to here and then nobody's gonna be able to see over the rocks anyway so I might as well save some money and go for the brick right so brick followed by brick followed by brick followed by brick followed by glass this is really easy to do go like that oops let's go around this way All right, all right. Now, I can change the length of it if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm not gonna bother with that for right now. It'll look silly, but that's okay. Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos, so we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? <laughs> the way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Oh. Okay then, you should start by double-clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. Double-click? Okay. Great. Now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Okay, that's a lot easier than when I did this before. Now you've got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. You'll want to make sure it reaches a height of at least 3.7 meters. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Ain't no tigers getting through this. Now that the habitat is in place, don't forget to put down a donation box near to your viewing areas. We need every dollar we can get. <laughs> Especially as these tigers aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. Yeah, there's a way to make it bendy too. I'm sure there is. Uh, I'll figure it out at some point. Let's see. So we go to... Nope. Where do we go? Oh, down here. Facilities. Right. Donation box. And... Okay, so you want the donation box in there someplace. I'm going to put it right on the corner right here. Okay, that's the habitat boundary complete, the habitat gate in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. Nope. I think it's time we adopted those look, tigers. Look how ridiculously tall the, that glass barrier is. Oh, boy. Someone's going to just throw a rock at it or something. All right, so let's adopt some tigers. Great big Bengal tigers. Ah, there it is. Oh, these are expensive. All right. Send to the zoo. Animal storage. Relocating habitat centers from the zoo. Whilst our ahead. trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers, let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. We'll start with the That's basics. Right. Add a suitable feeding station for them. All right, oh yeah, yeah, we need food. That's right. right food tray. I'll put the food tray up here on the corner. This there time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Hmm. Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. Okay. All you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily Tigers. get a nice, refreshing drink. Tigers. There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You should do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. All right, place your mouse on the side of the hole. Wait for the terrain. Here is terrain. Water. Water. Oh, rough or calm? Let's see. Do our tigers like it rough or do they like it calm? Place your mouse on the side of the hole. On the side of the hole. Wait for the lantern in blue to place the water. Okay. Can't be placed over animals. That's unfortunate. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, it's calculating if I can place it. Can we do rough water? Rough water. Yes, that'll do nicely. There you go. Have some rough water. Of course, just like the warthogs and ostriches, these tigers will also need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items into their habitat? Oh, I filled it up even more. All right. Hey, kitty cat. Frozen blood pumpkin. There you go. Aw, a rubbing pad. They like to rub on pads. Okay, let's see. Let's put the rubbing pad over here right by the viewing area. And let's, uh, let's see. I know, I know. Let's have them rub over here. I want to spread this out so people run all over the place, right? Something like this, maybe? Oh. Something like that. And we'll put that, like, here. Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Now, the tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad weather. Although, given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. Wow, that's a really nice shelter. Edge, I love that comment. And you can start building the Odin now, because we, we put the... Oh, look, he's going for a swim! Can I put the shelter down right on top of him? <laughs> um, let's see. Where can we build the shelter? I want to build a shelter to some place that people are still going to be able to see into it. So, like, here would be good. Yeah. 
Oh, poor Dabs. I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. I just did that, but okay. Open the terrain tab. Rightio. Click on the oh. terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain. That'll tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. Wow, that poor pumpkin. Okay then, open the terrain editing tool, select painting, and give them some more soil. Yes, that should help with the habitat part of their welfare. Give them some more soil. We literally just paint in some stuff? Okay. Oh, we can add and remove water. Okay. So I thought we're doing painting now. And I can add snow. Here you go, tiger. How do you like that, huh? <laughs> I don't think he's too happy. <laughs> oh, crap. Alright, so what do I need here? Animal needs more soil. Ah, soil heavy. Oh, okay, I see. So there's soil, rock, and grass short and grass long. So we're going to give them some dirt all the way up to over here. Are we happy now? Hey, Dutch. Getting some soil up to the rubbing pad. Alright. And we need to get some long grass as well. I see. Okay. So let's put some long... Not into the long grass! I see. Yes, go play in the long grass over here, huh? Can I put some in the shelter? Yes, I can. Cool. Long grass in the shelter. Why not? Free the tigers. They will never be happy. Yeah, there you go. Just open the door. Let them walk on out, right? Okay, so there's a nice long grassy area. Uh, oh, okay. I see. Okay. So it's red because it's not enough. So we need to add more, but not at the expense of the grass. I put too much dirt on. So now we need to go add to the long grass. Take away some of that soil. Maybe I need to get rid of some of the rock. It's over here. I don't know how to do that though. Did you leave a poopy? You left a poopy. Oh, too much long grass. Maybe I need to do short and stuff. Yeah, there you go. There we go. That's the expected norms that they want to be within. I see. Alright. So let's do something like this. Right then. All animals Finally. need plants and trees from their own biome or continent. You know, deserts, hey, savannas, or Asia, Europe, that sort of thing. It looks like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. God, to get a perfect tigers. fit, use plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. Although if you have to, you can get away with using just one or the other. The tigers will also want a certain amount of their habitat to be covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use and how many, select a tiger and go to the environment tab. All right, let's see. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now, as you can see, some of the plants currently in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like mm. the wattle bushes. Mm -hmm. You can remove them if you want. Okay. You can find all of the plants you need in the nature section, and you can use the filters to only show the types of plants you want to see. In this case, that's plants from the rainforest or temperate biomes. 
Go to nature. Okay. Filter. And, oh, continent. Asia. Biomes, tropical, temperate, and grassland. Filter. Biome. Tropical. Grassland. Temperate. Cool, okay. So now I can add this gigantic holly tree. Wow. Alright, let's put that at the top of the rock. Yes, there we go. Now they got some shade up on Pride Rock right there, huh? Okay, um, we need more plants. Alright, what else can we do? We can add some bush. Here's a bush. There's a bush. Oh, that's outside on the glass. We don't want to do that. Oh, look, the people are checking them out. Oh, and they got balloons. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, while you're enjoying this, where, where's the donation box? Right, it's not letting me do it because it's, it's got me locked. Oh, well. Let's go back to nature. Bengo bamboo. All right, we're getting more coverage now. So that's good. A little bit more coverage. Okay, good. Now, what is this? Plant type and coverage is inappropriate for this animal. What? Oh. There we go. Ta -da! <clears throat> they say the good fences make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> Still, those tigers look so happy that I doubt they'd leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. <laughs> Edge, yeah, this right. is my distance learning. <laughs> Let's head over to the Indian peafowls. I've been told that we need to improve their social welfare. The ape apprenticeship. Eye of the tiger. Nice. That's cute. All right, let's get out of this. Get out of this. We need to head over to another area now. God, I just love how ridiculous it looks with those walls being so high. <laughs> oh well. I made that. Okay, so what? Now then, just find one of the peafowls and select them to open an information panel. Then we can have a good gander at how they're doing. Are you? A Although technically, I suppose gandering would just be for geese. You're not a peafowl. Expand their social welfare, and we can get a bit more detail. I'd, I'd love to, but I, I don't see any peafowls in here. Um, are we looking at the right place? This looks like it's a maze. Tigers will eat all the dirty CV players. There you go. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, so now we can expo expand the uh, social now, welfare. They've clearly got plenty of space, and they're not stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out more. Click on the social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. Not enough adults. Right. As you can see, the peafowls need their population to be larger. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Off you pop to the animal market, then. All right, animal market. And I need more females. All three of these are females. Let's do it. Bye. 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 And why can't I select all of them? Right, whatever. Delivery there. There, select all. Thank you. Send the zoo. All send zoo. Good work on those pea fowls. Go. I expect they'll be delivered soon. But sadly, it yes, sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. Snow leopard's not happy, huh? Well, we're gonna sit here and watch these people deliver. Okay, so you don't have to do glass. There's also these kinds of things. That's cool. That's right, I know. I more females, right? 
Here we go. Nolo, thanks for, for catching me under the awning part there earlier. You guys have sharper eyes than I do at times. It's great. Cool. Look, it's a woman. Now do things. Do woman things. Okay, so I need to go over to the snow leopard section. Oh, look, there's Just snow. Just like people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite yeah, right. We can't You know, like when you animals. see someone put in the milk before the tea bag. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barrier by their cave for one-way glass. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? Okay. This will give the snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. Oh, Sanctus, I had so much fun playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. I had a ride called the Stairway to Heaven. It was a catapult that launched you into a loop and then straight into the front gate of the of the amusement park. Okay, so if I click this, of course, when okay. an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Unsurprisingly, for the snow leopards, it's it's too hot. Even with the terrible British weather, you should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. But coolers. let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. You want to talk sick, man? There were times where like, you, you had like certain requirements in your campaign task. And one of my favorite was that you had to do... Oh. Was you had to um, have a certain number of visitors. So you just lower the land by one tick from the exit, and then all your all your visitors just get trapped. All right, temperature heat. Map. As you can see, we already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Luckily for us, okay. this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Right, just so you know, one. if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. Oh, okay, so I don't have to worry about this little part here. That's good. Alright, so habitats. There's a cooler. Ah, I see. And then the cooler obviously impacts. So, like, here's a cooler here by that scratch pad. And then we can add a cooler to another area. Let's make them comfortable over here. And let's put one over here, too. Not enough? Okay, fine. We'll do one in the middle. You can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things, so do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. Okay, It'll now the take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters, but now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopard's terrain welfare. You see, what the leopards really want in here is snow and rock, so let's make that happen. <laughs> Park Hotel California, that's right. You were trying to build a roller coaster, you forgot to close the loop, so you shot people into nothingness? Yep, that's exactly what I did. I loved it. I loved it. I had another one where it was just a lift and that was it, so at the top of the lift you'd watch them all just fall off to their death. I, I was a bad person. Alright, so what am I doing now? Um, I'm adding snow, I'm guessing. This is a... S Hold on. Let's do it this way. Improve the snow leopard habitat. Swap the cave glass. I did that. I did that. Increase terrain welfare to 100%. Okay. Where are my snow leopards? That's not a snow leopard. Maybe it's... Oh, I heard it. I heard it. Maybe I should get out of this. Oh, you are a snow leopard. Okay. So let's see. We did the social. Here's the habitat. Terrain. Here's the terrain tab. Okay, we need more snow and more long grass at the expense of rock. Okay. Terrain, snow, and we need to do it at the expense of rock. So uh, here's some rock here. So there's our snow, right? More snow? over here. We're going to freeze the guests outside. Put some snow by the coolers. 
I need to put some more long grass in as well. Let's see. Where's... I guess this is rock as well. Alright, do we have enough snow now? We do. Alright, long grass. And we'll do this also at the expense of rock if we can find some more rock. Maybe there's some in here? Yes. Here's some more. We can also get rid of some of the soil, so that'll help too. Where's soil? Here's soil. Oh wait, this is too much grass. I need less long grass. Oh! Can I, I can't just delete it, can I? Okay. Derpity derp derp. Let's just change that back to snow. Go in here and make you into snow. Would help if I, I like, paid attention to that. Sorry, guys. Get rid of some of that. Go away, long grass. I heard a train! Trains are cool. Trains are cool. Okay, grass long. Oh. Where else is there long grass in here? It would be nice if there was a way to, to like highlight the filter or something like that for it. I don't know that there is though. I don't see any more long grass. Is this considered long grass? Yeah, I like long grass. Okay. Where else? It might almost be easier just to make it all snow and then fill in as I go. I don't know. Oh, wait. Ah, I found you. Okay, we're almost completely taken care of now with the long grass. There's a little bit here. There's some over here too. Hmm. Is it a train or a T-22? Lol. Okay. All of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy. So I'd like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. <sighs> That'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. And that average welfare is a very important statistic. Now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. Okay, so these guys need some enrichment. So I can go to the Enrichment tab. Species Toy Enrichment. Toy Enrichment is only partially covering your animal's needs. Okay. I'm confused. Habitat, food, water, bed, shelter, yes. Enrichment! Food, toys. They want more toys. So let's let's give this guy a small ball. Chew toy, chew toys. Tigers like chew toys. Bobbin. Blood scent marker. Okay, if that doesn't make them happy, good. All right. Moving on. Who else can I make happy? Let's go over to here. Oops. I didn't mean to put you there. How do I click away from that? Maybe this? Alright, lions. What's up with you guys? You're all at hundos. I like you. I like you animals. Okay. Let's go back to... Oh, wait. elephants. Let's see what the elephants are doing. Elephants aren't happy with their plants, apparently. 
So let's take a look at that environment. And there's some plants they don't like, so let's get rid of those. A lot of plants they don't like. Which means I'm going to have to replant, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, they want some hard shelters. Well, not enough shelters available. Okay. What do I do with the shelter again? Habitat. Beds and shelters. And they need a shelter. Where can I put their shelter? I guess I can put one up here. That might be a little bit too small for them, huh? Can I make it taller? Nope, nope. Can I get that? Does that give them happier for, for shelters? 87% for hard shelter. How about another one? Hey, there we go. Now they're happy. Alright, that's all I need to do for the elephantes. Where else can I go? Let's let's explore our ostriches. Oh, they need enrichment. They need species food enrichment. Alright. Go to enrichment. Six out of twelve. They need more food. So let's see. Habitat. Enrichment. Food enrichment. Hmm, bamboo feeder? Oh right, right, right. Okay, so we can go into here. We can type we can do a filter for a species. And this is um ostrich. Common ostrich. There. Forage box. And let's put that right about there. While we're at it, let's also change the barrier here. Up to about there. Come on. And let's make that. Electric cat chain link. Steel mesh. There we go. I'm learning things, guys. Eh. 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 Yeah. Nope. Let's try it this way. Oh, there's the train. Where's that steel mesh? There it is. Done. Now people can actually see the freaking animals. That's helpful. Okay, back to this guy. Common ostrich, how you feeling now? Interspecies bonus. Animal star rating. Okay, whatever. They're happy. I think the term is cozy. Shelter looks a bit small for the big animal. I would agree with that, Dutch, but apparently that was enough for the for the uh for the elephant, so maybe maybe they, they maybe they just duck. But let's just say that they you know they crouch or something. We did the snow level. Ooh, giraffes. This takes me back. Alright. Terrain and no enrichment. Insufficient enrichment is being provided to cover all animals. So we need we need giraffe and we need plains zebra. And we're gonna go to habitat. Enrichment items. And we want. McMickens Mitch X12. They say every tiny bit helps. It's that I can't give more ATM, so I donated $5 to the charity. Oh, Mike, dude, awesome. Holy crap, thanks, Mike. Sweet. Thank you for doing that. Uh, that's our first donation, guys. Hype in chat. Uh, I didn't even know if anybody was going to donate today, nor do I care. I just wanted to see if it worked. So I'm glad to hear that it's working. Uh, but like I said, that's going to be a big part of our Sunday stream. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit and what we're going to do with it. So food. I need... I need. Um, okay, what is this? Reticulated giraffe. Food. Enrichment. Filters. Species. Resets. And we need... Can I just type? No, I can't. Articulated giraffe. There it is. 
Um, okay. Well, there you go. There you go. And now you're happy with food. Now we need toys. Alright, toys for giraffe. There, have a toy. Have another toy. Have a toy. Have another toy. I'm not happy with the train. We'll get to that in a little bit. What's next? Oops, I just threw a toy down the zebra. Okay, I can right click to get rid of a build. I like that. What's wrong with your habitat, bud? You don't like the plant. You need food enrichment as well. Alright, so what are you? Plains Zebra. Close out of that one. And now we need to go to Plains Zebra. There we go. And you want... Uh, herb Scent Marker Enrichment. Herb Scent Marker Enrichment. There we go. Now you need food. Food Enrichment. Grazing Ball Feeder. There you go. Doink. And how's about... Not, not bad at all. I think it's fair to say that you've passed the first part of your training Jackson with flying with the colors. There's still lots more to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you want to grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? All right, sure. Cthulhu, uh, sad thing about me playing this mm. game now. Sounds like you've got the whole zoo purring away nicely. Well, purring, grunting, screaming, booming. <laughs> All the uh, appropriate noises. I guess I was right to hire you, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Don't tell her I told you, but Nancy wasn't sure you'd even last the morning. <laughs> so we're happy this is working out. And Nancy owes me a foxy coffee. <laughs> as strange as it seems, considering we just met, when I look at you, I feel like you're the child I never had. Aww. After the one I did have, obviously. But you see, zookeeping's not for my daughter. Don't get me wrong. Emma absolutely loves animals. But she set her sights somewhat higher. Mm-hmm. Wants to save the entire planet. I'll just settle for saving a couple of species. Mm, and maybe having a type of frog named after me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so my objectives are done. Does that mean that I'm, I'm out of here? Open zoom management to list all my animals. Total profit. I'm down 4,000. Okay. There's all my animals. Oh, okay. And I can... I can... I can just do that. So that would have been a quicker and easier way to uh, figure out that last one. Okay, so I did that. I did that. Crime? There's crime in my zoo? Replace benches! Guests are happy. Oh, graphs. Spreadsheets, guys! We get spreadsheets in this game! Oh, you can change opening hours. Okay. Let's close the house. Oh. Ungrateful NPCs, right? So there's our animals. Okay, so what now? Charge them for everything, right? <laughs> the benches all got taken away and put on the French destroyers. You're not wrong. Guess I've learned the most about the lemurs. All right. Hmm. Hey, look, I made money now. Okay, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I guess we're done. Is there a shit shuffling mode? <laughs> that would be interesting. That would be something, huh? Needs more pivot tables? Yeah, right. COVID? Oh, God. No. Okay, so... I, I did this. 
I, I did this. I opened the zoo management. Okay. Here's my animals. What do you want me to do now? Oh, quarantine. Do you want me to select them all or something? Views. Animals. Most appealing is the West African lion. Okay. I think I'm done with this at this point, guys, huh? Alright, well, let's go back to... Can I exit out of here? Let's save the zoo. New zoo save. There we go. Saving the zoo. Let's go back to main menu. I hope somebody's orange for testing purposes. There you go. And let's see if it says I'm done with this at this point. So you okay, you get stars based off of stuff. So we've unlocked a couple of things already. Got it, got it, got it. If I go to back here. So that's my career, then there's challenges, franchise builds all around the world and create your animals online. Sandbox. Access all my zoos. Cool. Sign up for your crew. Okay. Okay. Um. Huh. Alright guys. Question. At this point, would you like me to move to another zoo? Or do you want me to switch over to Valkyria Chronicles? Tell me what you prefer. We saw streamers in co-op try to see how many orange games they can get. Ouch. That's, um, interesting. Enjoy the music, that's for sure. Um, once again, guys, do you want me to do more Planet Zoo or switch over? Um, I guess I could make a poll, couldn't I? Dashboard. Go back to Valkyria. Okay. Can do that. Can do that. Let's um, yeah, let's do this. Let me exit out of Planet Zoo. It is, does have very nice background music. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. So big thanks to that publisher for setting me up with that game. Um, and everything else you hear is clink clink clink. Let's see. Can we do this? We can do that. All right, I have a box that I need to go get. So give me a second. I'm gonna back the uh, chair up a bit. What the heck? Everybody, here's our box. It is a big box, as you can see. So, let's see what's inside. This is from. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, uh, now you can hear me. I have to get closer, don't I? Yes, I am. I am definitely keeping an eye on, on Star Wars Squadrons. That's actually the reason why I uh, 
I'm wearing this shirt. It's in honor of that because I love Star Wars games, especially, especially Star Wars uh, simulator like 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 the old uh, X-wing and Tie Fighter games were awesome. Matter of fact, X-wing versus Tie Fighter is where I became Lord Zaff. Yes, the green screen is folding space. Isn't that kind of fun? Like, ee! love it. Okay, so this is what I got. This is what I got. I entered into, I entered into a sweepstakes, um, one of Intel sweepstakes, and I didn't think anybody ever won this crap, but apparently I I did, because I got this Intel Gaming Access Frontier. Updated Rogue Squadron would be awesome. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool box. It's all Planet Zoo based, which is part of the reason why I requested a key to get it to see. This is an influencer kit for, for Planet Zoo South America. So let's take a look at what's inside. Painting my kitchen green. Yeah, um, my wife would say no to that. Um, and and I, I did kind of ask. See, when I, when I got this green screen thing for the back of the chair, she's like, it's so big, oh my god, she's like freaking out. I told her, I said, if you'd rather we paint the, the you know, I buy a, a green screen and hang it from the wall above or something, I said, I, I can do that if you want. No. So, okay, this is what we deal with. Oh my god, it even smells like weird smell. What the hell is in here? Originally, this was supposed to be delivered yesterday, so I was all excited because I'd be able to to play Planet Zoo with this South America pack thing. Okay, first thing I got, I have an official Planet Zoo cap. And then it's green. <laughs> and there's a sticker on it. Can you see the sticker there? It's that says. Um, it says Planet Zoo Simulation Runs Wild. It's a sticker on the top there. So there you go. I don't know. I, I got myself a hat now. That's exciting. Um, what else do we have? <gasps> oh, we have a little lion. Meow, 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 meow. We got, we got, we got this Planet Zoo lion. It's even got the Planet Zoo tag on it. And it's got the Zoopedia here. I'll move this closer to this. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's black, so <laughs> or green, so it doesn't work. It says, Zoopedia West African Lion, uh, Panthera Leo Singalinus. An adult male lion's roar can be heard from eight kilometers away. Rawr. That's awesome. Oh, my God. If I'm wearing, I, I thought about wearing a green T-shirt at one point. I seriously did. And, and one of these days, I will, because I want to be, like, totally, totally flying. Okay, so we got, we got this. What else do we got? We've got a an Intel, it says Intel on it, water bottle thing. Feels like it's glass, but it's got rubber all over it. Nope, it's plastic. It's plastic. By Gemline, made in China. I don't know, whatever. Might be something I can add to my 4,000 follower giveaway, to be quite honest. What else do we have here? Oh, here we go. This is what. This is perfect for when I go to school. I have a Planet Zoo lunchbox. Look at that, huh? A Planet Zoo lunchbox. And inside is nothing. It's all tin. <laughs> wonder if there's any streamers out there that bought a 1950s vintage house and realized they didn't have to repaint it all. Oh, no, no. That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. Oh, I'm totally going to rock this to work. And on the back side here, let's see if, you, if I can show it to you. It says handle with care and all that kind of stuff. And over here on the front. Nice. Very nice. What else did I get here? 
Uh, this looks like a, oh, it's a notebook. Just a simple notebook on the inside. It's got a little pen. It says Intel. Very stylish, huh? What does it say on the back here? Oh, okay. It's Leeds. I don't know what Leeds is. I recognize that name from someplace. I got a key to Planet Zoo South America pack. So I got I got some DLC for free, so that's excitement right there. So I can I can do more fun things. Um I got a Planet Zoo puzzle. Of course it's green, so it's gonna float. But that's kind of cool, huh? A whole bunch of little puzzle pieces, something that uh Honestly, I think my wife would enjoy putting this together. It looks really nice, and I like the picture. I'm going to show you guys the picture again there. Looks really good. You know, maybe I should... I can try that. Okay. I can try I can try en enabling another camera, something like that. And then I've got a Planet Zoo reusable bag. Now, I'm not allowed to take one of these to, like, Walmart or anything like that just yet but at some point I can so that'll be cool so reusable bag what is this wow okay this is uh, it says expedition collection I'll read it to you on the back here it says at Intel, we believe that building a better world is our business. We're constantly innovating and exploring new ways to apply our technology to address global challenges. Expedition Collection celebrates Intel's impact. In Africa and Asia, poaching is reaching epidemic proportions, placing iconic mammals, including elephants and lions, at risk of extinction within our lifetimes. This Expedition Collection features Resolve Trail Guard AI, Powered by Intel Movidius technology, TrailGuard AI is a, is a tiny smart camera that detects poachers, alerts park rangers, and ultimately protects endangered animals from harm. That's kind of cool. Starting in 2019, TrailGuard AI will be deployed in 100 African reserves, beginning with the Serengeti and, Gam and Garamba. Expedition collection proceeds are donated to African Wildlife Conservation. Learn more at theintelstore.com. Okay, and these are stickers. So this is a little little wooden sticker here. It's got the expedition and there's there's lions on it. That's kind of neat. And then this one is I'm guessing it's a tree. Or no, okay, so it's an elephant it's an elephant's face, but with circuit instead. It says Intel. So that's kind of neat. I can totally geek out, and that's that's the source of the smell. I think in the box but uh, that's kind of neat but I have to be careful because it feels like it's balsa wood so I need to make sure I don't like you know accidentally break it or something like that hey Elidon how you doing but anyway so that that's the that's the collection piece I gotta put that some place nice and, and safe and there's and then there's there's this thing Let's see what this thing is. Ah, scissors. I done. We're opening up um, a, uh, I guess they call it a, an influencer pack or something like that. Uh, this is a sweepstakes that I won, and it's something that uh, I, I'm just amazed that I won. But anyway, and then I got this bag. There's something in the bag. So is there cats in that box yet? No, there is not. My cats are sniffing it, but they haven't gotten into it. What is this? Oh. Oh. It's a Core i9 processor. All right. It's an i9 9900K, 3.6 gigahertz, 16 megabyte cache. Processor LGA eleven fifty one. Huh. 
Yeah, they sent me a CPU. They sent me a Core i9 processor. Yeah, it looks like a D12, doesn't it? Well, yeah, there's there, there's a processor inside there. If you like looking in there, you can kind of see it. See the wow. That's a nice CPU, huh? That's pretty dope. Now I just have to build a computer around it. That's one of the higher end ones, huh? Cool. It's a five hundred dollar processor. My prices. <laughs> I just don't know. Actually, you know what though? You have it. It's good stuff. Good. I I've been trying to get. My wife is gone. She went to go pick up her bike. So I, I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. Um, my goal is to build a second PC. My goal is to put this PC upstairs and have a dedicated streaming room so I'm not down here in the family room with the kitchen in the background and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, this could very well be the processor that goes into that. And then I've got, I've got the ability to, um, to start. Exactly, it's a good start, right? Um, Sunday, my stream is uh, also sponsored, and um, part of the part of what comes from that might also go towards uh, building a, a PC as well. Um, that's kind of one of my goals is I'm trying to get her to to see that um, you know like I'm able to do awesome things like build computers thanks to all of you cool people. So we'll have to see. That might be kind of fun. She does not get my old one edge. The old one stays right down here. So that we can play games and project onto the uh, onto the, the the wall. So, yeah. Uh oh, crew is checking out the box now. Okay, let me put on the lap cam, and I'm gonna. Uh, can I can I can just do that here? So I can show you guys once again. This time without a green screen. There's the i9 processor. Um, doo -doo 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 with the stuff on the back here it's uh there it is 9900k can i fit my cat into the d12 box no i can't so that's that one i have to, I have to put it back in the in its protective baggy thing whoa i almost dropped it that would have been bad okay so that goes there i got the Planet Zoo back. Hi, Prue. Hi. Prue wants Prue wants attention. Hi. What's up? And then I got this. This is the Planet Zoo puzzle. Oh, and then there's a whole bunch back here, see? Huh. Yeah, it even came in a dice bag, right? Here's our here's our little lion. Crew was checking it out. And now you can read inside the Planet Zoo thing here. See? A little Zoopedia thing. That's cool. There's the butt. It's got kind of a butt anchor. I don't know. Um, here's the Intel water jug. That's kind of neat. Planet Zoo South America pack, yay. Um, that expedition collection thing that you guys can actually read now. That is a ton of swag. I don't know if this line of games is way more popular. I, I just know it's, it's out here, you know, like holy crap. Never would have expected it. And again, here's that Planet Zoo lunchbox. I totally totally want to come to school with this when when school reopens like I think that would be really cool even says fragile on it it's the same company that does Jurassic Park and Elite Dangerous yep. and then here is our Intel notebook cool and I think that I think that takes care of I think that takes care of everything, huh? Show you guys the box that came in. Yeah. See? Planet
Planet Zoo South America pack. Intel Gaming Access Frontier. RAR. That's a pretty sweet swag box indeed, yeah. So, like I said, don't tell my wife <laughs> my, my cunning evil plans. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, Stevie's in his bed. But uh, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna do stuff with this. We are definitely gonna do stuff with this. So, with that, are we ready for some Valkyria Chronicles, guys? Let me just put everything back nicely in the box. Someone tell Wargaming to step it up before another game prize. Lol. I'm never gonna leave warships, you know that. Oh, Stevie got up, of course. He detected the camera was on him, so he got up. Um, I'm gonna put this in the notebook just to keep it safe. That. Let's get the ring and the light. There we go. Let's go, Valkyria Chronicles. All right, let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to the Valkyria spot. And let's go into Valkyria Chronicles. I need to update stream information. Please tell me you're going to work for me this time. Eh, ah, you're going to do it to me, aren't you? There we go. Okay, good, 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 good. We need to update 